Yo, what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the best shooting guards in NBA 2K23, my team here on this tier list. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 9,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. Starting off with Andre Iguodala, who I think is a pretty easy A tier. Really love him defensively. He's got a great player build, moves pretty well. Great slasher. The one thing about Iggy that isn't next level amazing is his his release which is kind of just average but he does everything else super well really like iggy a lot at the shooting guard position and the fact that he can play make pretty solidly as well is super nice i think he's a great great shooting guard bradley beal is undersized not a great defender not an amazing slasher doesn't move incredibly well release is solid but not, not next level amazing the shooting guard position is pretty deep so i think he's got to go in the d tier just one of the worst guys on this list and cam reddish is actually really good for a budget card i'll pull him up on 2k db because i think he's really solid 6 8 with a 7 foot wingspan 90 speed Excel, 85 shot three, 85 driving duck, really capable all around defensive stats, great defensive badges as well. Playmaking badges are solid, shooting badges are solid. He's super solid all the way around, even has limitless takeoff and post driver. So he's got the slashing, defense, shooting, playmaking. He's got all those things at a solid level. Good release as well. Cam Reddish is really good for a Ruby. Sorry, for an Amethyst, and I think he definitely goes C tier. Kazi Russell is probably like the third or fourth best shooting guard in the game. Top five for sure, in my opinion. So I definitely think he is a S tier shooting guard. Um, Creates a shot as well as really any shooting guard in the game. Defensively capable, has gold anchor, uh, good slasher, very good slasher as well. I think he's a very, very good card for sure. And I think he's definitely an S tier guy for sure as well. Clyde, I think, has to go B or C. He's kind of probably B because he can get every badge, which is nice. That does help Clyde, the fact that he can get every badge. But he's still not next level great. Decent release, really good slasher, average at best defender. He, he's kind of okay. He's nothing special whatsoever at the shooting guard position, but he's not bad. Uh, and I'll put him B. Glenn Rice is going to go D. I just don't love Glenn Rice. The shooting guard position, like I said, is pretty deep. I just don't think this card does a ton on the court. He's not crazy fast. He's an average, but not great defender. Defensive badges are mediocre. No anchor. Great shooting badges, but an average. I mean, decent release. It's not bad. Malik Beasley's base is okay. If y'all have used Larry Johnson, y'all you know what it looks like, but it's just nothing special. Uh, and he's not a great dunker. He doesn't do anything super well on the court, to be completely honest. He's just pretty mid. And again, deep, deep position. He can't go higher than D, in my opinion. Jay Rich is C. Great slasher. Not a complete card the way that Iggy was in the flight school set, though. Fast, good shooter. Uh, great slasher solid shooting badges as well gold limitless range is nice he's an average defender pretty good playmaker uh, i think he's a slightly better cam reddish he's got a decent release as well he's not bad i'm gonna go i'll move him up to v tier i think he's pretty decent he's just not a great great card but probably about as good maybe even a little better than clyde jackson to be honest uh jerry stackhouse same thing just gotta go d tier man he's just not that great release is okay he's an okay defender doesn't move great um he's just honestly very mad there's all these tis the season shooting guards to be honest uh that they dropped or season three happened holidays event shooting guards they dropped none of them were really anything special all three of those guys are pretty clear d tiers to me uh i'm gonna put jimmy and b and i'm actually gonna move clyde down to bc because i think jay rich is better than clyde and i don't think clyde is really all that great jimmy great defender very mid, mid release to be completely honest he doesn't move that great but he is an exceptional exceptional defensive card with great size a shooting guard normal fade as well so he is a very good card in my team still um, even with a weird not great release but um i still think he's b tier and i think he's a very solid card uh and a guy who he's gonna go a tier for me is jr i don't think he's quite s tier he's got a great release uh he's a really good slasher as well but he's got a very weird size he's not an amazing defender not a bad defender but he's just not an amazing defender uh, as y'all can see defensive stats are kind of okay defensive badges are good gold ones but no anchor no brick wall a uh, ton of shooting badges though clamp breaker quick first step limitless takeoff posterizer are super nice but he doesn't move next level great does have a really good release like i said but still got to put him in the a tier dr j is still the best shooting guard in my team in my opinion so i think he's definitely an s tier guy really love myself that this dr J card a ton got him um, on my squad starting a shooting guard I think he's the best shooting guard in the game and I think he's incredible so complete all the way around everything you could ask for on a shooting guard he's going to do at elite level Kobe's going to go A as well Dick Kobe's again very solid um, very good release moves pretty solidly very good slasher very capable defender really solid card again nothing next level incredible doesn't do anything at a ridiculously elite insane level but he's very good all the way around kind of the budget Dr. J to be honest I know he's not budget but for guys who don't have to have Dr. J Kobe can play a comparable role in your offense and on your defense playing very capably on the team 
Uh, Lou Aldang actually is going to go S tier for me. I legitimately think he's a top five shooting guard in the game. I'm that high on Rick on uh, Lou Aldang. His defense is incredible. He moves well offensively. He's got a solid release. He's six nine, which is incredible, and he's got all the key badges that you could ask for on a card, which is super nice. I think he's so good and so complete in this game. MJ B tier, very mediocre release. He does everything else really well, but the release is super mid. Doesn't have the incredible shooting badges either, and that holds him back just like it does Jimmy Butler. He's a better all around card than Jimmy, but honestly, Jimmy's probably a little bit better defender and they both have mid releases so for me i gotta put mj in the b tier mike miller is gonna go c tier simply because he's 6 8 and has one of the best releases in the game so his size is super valuable and it's super nice to have a guy who has that size and can shoot at the level that mike miller has can with how good his release is but he just doesn't do anything else in the corner at a stupid high level besides shoot so just not a good enough all-around card to be higher than c tier but an absolutely knockdown shooter who can be a budget sniper on your squad richie guerin is gonna go d tier nothing special about richie at all he's one of the worst shooting guards on this list he's only 6'4 so he's undersized he's fast and he's a good enough dunker and a good enough shooter and his finishing and shooting batters are good he's also got gold quick first step but he's undersized he's a average defender he doesn't move very well or he moves okay but not great and he doesn't have a great release his 4 release is kind of mad to be completely honest uh, and he's just undersized without a great release not a great defender is a pretty big issue at shooting guard so good stats and badges but still d tier in my opinion one of the worst shooting guards on this list ricky davis gonna go a tier amazing offensive card really good sigs decent but not a great defender i think he's very solid though i really do like ricky davis a lot on the court and i think he does a lot of things pretty well so i will put him in the a tier especially because of how great he is offensively so pretty good pretty good shooting guard in my opinion ron artest is high b i think he's on the same level as jimmy butler better release still a very good defender moves pretty decently good def good slasher he's a very solid all-around card kind of like jason richardson not as good of a slasher as jay rich but a better defender but i do think he's a really solid card and i think he can do a lot of things really well on the court going in the b tier t ross gonna go to the c tier for me um good budget shooting guard good shooting bad is decent release good slasher okay defender kind of like eh, he's good but he's not great so i think c tier is probably fair for him terry dishinger is going to be our last or second to last i should say shooting guard in the s tier i think he's the second best shooting guard in my team incredible release incredible size really good defender does a ton of things super well on the basketball court the problem with terry is that he doesn't have handles for days or anchor those two badges are pretty key if he had those two badges on gold i think he'd legitimately be the best shooting guard in my team but without him he can i guess only be the second best but i still think he's an amazing card and definitely s tier in my opinion T Max is going to go B. T Max is just not as good this year as he's been in previous years. He's still a good card at shooting guard position. He's got great size, 6'8. Stats and badges are really good. He's a solid defender, great slasher, good shooter. Uh, but he just doesn't play next level amazing this year. Even his sigs are pretty good. Uh, but the release isn't as good this year as it's been in previous years. His animations don't seem quite as great as they have been in terms of his shooting and slashing. But I do think he's a good card, no doubt about that. And I think he is an a, a B tier guy still. Uh, and then our final S tier is going to be Zach Levine. I'll be completely honest. I did not expect to put Zach Levine in the S tier when I first saw this card on 2KDB when the season came out on Friday. But for me, it's hard for me to not put Zach in S tier. I really think he's that good of a shooting guard. A really, really good card in my team. Um, and I, I did a gameplay with this card a couple days ago when y'all are seeing this video. And he is next level amazing, uh, especially on the offensive end. Defensively, not so much, but really do like him a lot still. So with that being said, that is going to do it for this shooting guard list. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below what y'all think of my list who i may be ranked too high too low or left off the list entirely that you would like to hear my thoughts on i can give you all that as well this video is going to be coming out a couple days after i record it i'm going to illinois um, to visit my cousin who plays basketball for illinois so i will be uh, out of town so if any new shooting roads come out over the next day or two i apologize that they're not going to be on this tier list i'll leave a comment and let y'all know what i think of those guys as well but that is good for the video like i said if you did enjoy make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon I appreciate y'all. Peace.